Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, I'm SimTwitch and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 7, this time in C-Class Online. Um, this didn't go well. Uh, it started going me going up the back of that guy. Not a lot, but a little bit. And then I just couldn't find a way through here. Um, there was absolutely no way through. Uh, otherwise I think I would have had a much better start than I did. And being barged out of the way onto the grass, I have to wait to see where I can rejoin. And then I didn't rejoin at the best angle and drift over to the grass on the other side. So I'm now down at the back end of the grid with the riffraff. Um, as they all bunch up. And I uh, tried to go around the outside of that guy, but the car just doesn't have the handling. Uh, I think this is a power tune. Anyway, he decides to go up the back of that guy, so he decides to go up the back of me. And uh, that results in me going absolutely nowhere off the grid. Probably only backwards from where I started. And uh, I wanted to snap out there. And uh, yeah, it decided it was going to snap there. Um, which sort of ended my chances of progressing anywhere in the race. And lighten up the tyres again for a good measure. The end of the guy, I think, still sat on the grid. Then on lap two, we caught up to this guy in front of us. Um, he wasn't taking the greatest lines, um, or the cleanest, you could say, uh, using those mobile one boards. So I've got past him pretty fairly and uh, covered it off on the inside, but uh, he wasn't happy with that. So back onto the grass again, and then he nearly visited the grass again. And uh, yeah, I knew he wouldn't let me up the inside, so I went around the outside of him. And uh, that was, I think, the last we saw of this guy. So coming up to the end of lap three, and this guy's put it in the wall, um, which is not the ideal line through that corner. They're taking a little bit too much. Uh, didn't intend to, but the car sort of just pulled me over there. I was like, oh, my bad. Um, it was both a bad of me and the car. Um, but you can see in the distance there's that group fighting. So I may be able to get to a more respectable position, not that 11th or whatever I could have got um, is respectable in the lobby of 15. But considering how it started, um, and how disappointing that was um, it'd be a decent result uh, considering where I started about 15 of 19-ish um, and got the first corner horribly wrong I could have taken that much better but the fighting the fighting happening in front uh, still allowed me to gain as that guy mows the lawn Yeah, again, not the greatest track for me. Uh, Sebring short. Um, I found it rather tough when hot lapping it, but I I enjoy Sebring. This is probably the sector of the track I enjoy more. Uh, I thought that guy was going to eat the tyre wall, but um, he's obviously cut that a few times before. And um, yeah, so a little touch on the rear. That was unintentional, but I don't think it affected him too badly. Uh, I think this car is just much more powerful than them in general. That guy thought about pulling out and realised how much speed I had. And it was looking pretty good. Uh, until someone pushed me in the back. Um, or it certainly felt like I got pushed and I got assisted wide into that wall. Um, so what could have been an 11th ended up being a 14th. And... Yeah, lighten up the tyres far too much and just spinning out. So yeah, C-Class has gone terribly at the start. And not even getting to finish that first race. But then we moved over to the other half of Sebring, again in the uh, rain, quote unquote. Um, this was in a Mitsubishi and I got a decent start. I knew I had a good lap in the previous one that I deserved to start higher up the grid. 
but this car just wasn't the right choice. I thought there was more handling involved here than there was. That guy, um, yeah. Yeah, he uh, couldn't really drive. That was my, me not driving well at all. Um, I thought I could go there, but three wide. And then he just decides, yeah, you can go back off. I don't think that's... I know I did a wrong, but I don't think you right a wrong or a wrong. Um, it's better to prove someone that's done a wrong by beating them in a fair way rather than just equaling what they've done. Then somewhere I got hit in the rear. So when I, where I progressed from the back of the grid, I was now down at the back of the grid again through no really fault of my own or I didn't think I was at fault I just braked for the corner like a normal person um, and that that was my fault but I just underestimated how much I was braking I tried to go up the inside and then he decided he was going to turn across and shove me on the grass so I had to ease off the throttle to try and help him I didn't have to I could have just shoved him but that would have done nothing for either of us and then he found that wall under the bridge. So, uh, yeah, C-Class not going so well. And now the fog is settling in. I mean, that says we on lap two of the previous race. Um, but most of that was cut out, so you didn't really see it. And I think it's pointless that they do that. They're just like, oh, here's a bit of fog. Uh, you can't see as well. And that's it for the rain. And then we move over to... This race is the final proper race of the video at Homestead Mini. So Homestead coming up quite often. Going up the inside of that guy, but he had more handling. And uh, I felt I could do well here back in the Maserati. Um, but it just didn't handle well enough to compete. As you can see, these guys were just a bit better handling, already driving away and then getting shoved. A little bit so you can see I've gained a lot here on the group but then I just wasn't sure where I was braking and uh, that resulted in um, that guy going up my inside and shoving me off or trying to and I just couldn't compete with the handling for this section so that sort of negated it gapped me to the top group and I just couldn't recover it through the handling stuff and the car not wanting to get the power down easily going onto the oval and scraping the wall a bit there but it, it catches up on the straights um, which isn't very good on this because the straights aren't long enough um, I should have known having hot lapped it before it's not as powered sensitive as I thought um, but the power in Forza the power and the acceleration seems to come good and it's this guy again is uh, is he in the same one? I think that's the same car he's in still uh, much better on the brakes but he didn't like that so he uh, used the push to pass to go back through um which is really annoying when people do that. Like I try to give back a position or ease off um, if I think I've done a really big wrong. Um, and then what was the point of it anyway? Because he just dropped us off the top lot. Because he's going to muck up that. So if he'd let me at least keep in contention with the top group, we may both have been there. But I managed to pull away by the end of lap 5 and I had to set a clean lap. Um, which would set me up for the next uh, race um, but I didn't set myself up for a good finish to this race by eating that wall um, I don't know, I, I should have just br braked a bit more but I thought I could handle it and it just couldn't um, so we now have three cars in front of us again and getting quite a good run onto the oval. So three cars in front of us. 
quickly became two. And uh, trying it down to trying to do down to one car in front. And I actually sent it there. And I think that was quite clean what I did. I didn't think there was any contact. And again, there was no contact there. Or I, I didn't think there was. Uh, there might have been a contact on my rear. So really, this should have been done and done. Uh, sixth place. Um, finish. And uh, coming up to the final sector, we're trying not to eat this wall again. I've run it a bit wide, and that allows someone up the inside. And uh, yeah, they just didn't want didn't want to play cleanly. So. Uh, I accidentally blocked that guy coming back onto the circuit and then he eats the ball anyway so what was the point of even doing that I was really annoyed at this point um, which is why my driving got really bad towards the end so that was a pointless 8th place um, then we hop over to the last race and it speaks for itself so I'm going to leave it there thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoy I hope you see you in the next one hopefully the next video will be a more positive note uh, thank you for watching the end, hope to see you next one, and bye for now.